Okay. Um, I'm not going nowhere, man. I'm going to stay here, dude. <laughs> yeah. So, this guy, Reiner Gundlach, looks like. Yeah. He has a question for me. He said, uh, he says, any must-have frog colors? I would say the must-have frog colors, I'll, a black, a brown or green pumpkin, some sort of white, and then uh, maybe a bluegill color like that stump jumper that I like or, or a chartreuse kind of fire tiger type, something that I would consider would fall into a, into a uh, uh, bluegill pattern. Thanks for sending that in there, Reiner. Okay, then, okay, this one is from Big John's Life, and he says, how do you figure out a new lake or a big, when, the, when you have a big weather swing, say like a cold front or something like that? That's kind of a long question, uh, or a long answer, but well, how do you figure out a new lake? What's the, what's the, big, what's the big key for you? Uh, depends on the type of lake, you know. Like a reservoir, let's just say like a reservoir. Yeah, like I have a to number know one. Florida bass in it, you know, because not, I mean, Northern Raj Master, Florida bass, we act yeah. different for the cold front. But just to check the weather. Weather? Yeah. Weather's key and then what, seasonal patterns too? Sure, sure. Yeah. It, it's hard to answer those questions unless I have specific places. Because until I see it, it's hard to answer any of those. Yeah, you're right. There are so many variables. Yeah, yeah, exactly. a lot of variables and a lot of things that are um, that go into kind of answering a question like that. Yeah, uh, let's the see. The best answer I give you is to figure out your own that time, just the current condition you face with. Fish the current conditions. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I kind of missed the question, the point. So the the one is like, how do you figure out? When you go to a new lake, how do you figure out what the fish are doing? What's the let's say a couple keys that you use uh, to figure out what the fish are doing? Go my strings, you know. Which I like power fish fishing. Shallow power fishing, fast moving bait, cover a lot of water, and spend some time to know. You know, at least you need like a couple of hours, a half day to know what's going on. Right. Stuff like that. Okay. To begin with, it's no answer for that technically. You know. Right. It, it's it's cover a lot of water doing the, comp the things you're confident in, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. to try to figure you, out. You, you things you know, you know about this technique, you know, if you're good for right. shallow water fishing, go flipping, spinnerbaiting, pitching, you know? Right. Stuff like that, and no fish in the shallow or that area. You gotta move a lot. The one thing is uh, important to bass fishing, you have to move around to find fish. Active fish, yeah. Usually your first guess is not always right, you right, know, right. so you have to move a lot, you know, 25 times, 30 times, you know, to get right area. Okay, so. that's a that's, that's great answer, great question, thanks for sending that in. Sonny Green says he would like to ask Talk how it came to be, what motivated him to leave his country to compete in this market? Yeah, what, what motivated, what was the number one motivating thing that, that was it? That, that made you leave Japan to come here? Well, because I want to become better fisherman. Not just uh, in Japan. I want to be best in the world. Good. So bass fishing, everything coming from the United States, you know, technique, rules, bait, you know. I mean, rules, bait, same. But I mean, boat, all that. So this is already better fishery, more lakes, you know, more different type. The, fish you know all together I want to I want to learn from here to get the better fishermen to me the proving is if I don't fish highest level against the better fishermen that I am I don't get better so I always want a group of a better fisherman in a group my mind so I can if I fish in better fishermen I can learn something you know right right then uh, if I beat those guys to be you know, if you want to be the best, you have to be those best right. guys. You, you know? got to compete against yeah, the so best guys. I just want to stay out from the small area to to look a big picture. You know that. Well, I don't know. You get it, but that's why no. I. Yeah, that makes sense. So yeah, you wanted to compete against the best in the world, mm -hmm. and so that in in the process of competing against the best in the world, you become better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, not just try to win the big big, ton big tournament. I want to. I like to become better fisherman myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's my motivation to come here to fish United States. Okay. He has a question for me uh, or for us. I guess it says how we how we met and became friends. So, I moved from California to Texas in 2001, 
And shortly after I moved here, Takahiro, or we went, I met a couple guys and we went down to Toledo Bend and Takahiro was competing in a tournament down there. Yeah, I was uh, fishing Bassmaster Top 100. Top 100. I, yeah, I met him at the parking lot yeah, in, the, in the boat ramp. Right, yeah, and uh, Last time. I think you finished second in that tournament. Yeah, I remember you had the, the band, small Astro band. Yeah, you had a little Astro yeah. band, yep. And um, and then when I, when I qualified for the uh, elites in 2006, uh, I camped and he camped, and we would see each other at the campgrounds, and. And we'd seen each other a few times before that, and we just kind of grew as friends and hung out a bunch, and uh, yeah, it just kind of went from there. Yeah. Man, it's like a 20 years now. I know. <laughs> That's 20 years ago. Is it really? Yeah, it is. That yeah, was 2000. Yeah, next year in Jan yeah. in February, it'll be 20 Jeez. years ago. And then uh, it says, uh, this one's for talk. Which you do, do you enjoy more, the M MLF format or the others, and why? Right now, I'm committed to that new format. Yeah, major fishing, the Bass Pro Tour format. It's really good to not have to keep the fish all day. You just, you know, release it right away. It's good for the fishery. And uh, I think that makes me become better fisherman to fish cup event with no practice, no information. Even a Bass Pro Tour, no sharing information with your roommate, you know. You do everything your own fishing, 100%. I, I, uh, I'm totally in it. You know, I enjoy it, but it's tough. Oh you yeah, catching fish. yeah, right, right, you know? yeah. There's no doubt it's yeah, tough. Yeah, but it's more challenging. I I like it now. Okay, here uh, that was from uh, Sunny Green. Okay, thanks for sending that in. And then Tony Hollingsworth says, "What's your favorite way to fish or your favorite bait?" Yeah, f what's your favorite way to fish and and your favorite bait? Favorite bait, uh, something. Moving fast, like a square bill crankbait. Square bill? Yeah, like a jackhammer type or spinnerbait. Right. Power fishing, shallow. Yeah, shallow power fishing. Okay. That's what I like. All right. What makes you decide to throw a spinnerbait or throw a chatterbait? And that's from Michael McCollum Fishing. It's pretty similar, but uh, I think early in a year when water temp is low, I Hang go more second. like spinnerbait. The last before, I don't think I was 100%. Favorite okay, the, Tony bait. Hollingsworth yeah. says, uh, what's your favorite way to fish, and then what's your favorite bait to fish? Okay, favorite ways, power fish and shallow, fast moving bait. Okay, so pick one. If you just had to pick one. One bait? Yeah, just one bait. Right now? Jack Hammer. Jack Hammer. <laughs> it's not even my sponsor's bait, okay? <laughs> all right. Yeah, that's all. That's being honest. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, cool. I might change it in the six months later. Yeah, right, okay. right. Okay. All right, here we go. And then the other guy, Michael McCollum Fishing, says, Talking here, I know you like to fishing a spinnerbait, but when do you decide to throw a spinnerbait or thry, decide, decide to throw a chatterbait? That's a great question because I still fish both. I want to fish both sometimes, but it seems like early in the year, the water temperature is below 60-ish, I go spinnerbait. Then if I come to the lake, got a more weed, I go, you know, with braided jig, then when shad spawns start, they may go back to spinnerbait more. But it all depends. On the conditions. But both good, you know, that's a great question. Yeah, it is a great question. I've found that a lot of times, just, on any given day, they like one more than the other, and there's no reason for it other than it's just they, they just bite it, you know. So, so make um, sure I have both of them. Yeah, exactly. Have both yeah. of them for sure. Steve Des Moines says, "Talk. How often do you and your wife go back to Japan?" I think I don't have a wife. Yeah, Talk's not married. Yeah, I'm single. And he says, "Do you think you will ever move back to Japan?" Uh, I'm not sure right now at this point. That's maybe because my mom, seven, six years old, she's there, my brother, my sister live there. So right now I'm fully enjoy fishing here in the United States. But after I retire fishing, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might live in uh, Japan, I might live in California, you know, I might live in New York, you know. A lot of options. Yeah, so uh, I don't know yet. Okay. Alright. But I sure enjoy last you know, 20 plus years fishing here in the United States. This is the best ever. 
Yeah, well, I mean, you've been How super, about you, you know? Yeah, oh yeah. Well, but you've been super successful at it. Win the Bassmaster Classic, I don't know how many bass pro or bass events and then BPT events and it's been uh it's treated you really well. Wow, well, this is the best bass fishing in the world. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. No doubt. Yeah. 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 So well guys, thank you for uh sending in those questions. I think we answered them all. Um well actually BC he says, when he won, when Takahiro won the Bassmaster Classic, there was a story I read, did I read this one? About talk, about what all talk had done and been through to be a professional bass fisherman. I think it might be interesting to hear his story in his own words. It's kind of a long one, but you want to yeah, give it a shot? Yeah, where can I start? Uh, start from... I don't I, know. <laughs> yeah, like I said, try, I try to wrap up 20, I stopped, 20 years. And... I stopped bass fishing here in the States first time. It was uh, 1992 March. I fished the Bassmaster Invitational for the Sam Raven. I had the uh, rental rent car, the nobody I know. And uh, I couldn't speak good English or any, you know. I, I, I thought I did a bunch of homework, but, uh, you know, I lost a lot. I mean, you know. But uh, uh, 10 years, I not even be able to qualify for uh, Bass, Bass Masters Classic. I always, just like everybody else, want to win the Bass Masters Classic. That's the goal for right. the tournament fisherman, right? Right. So it took me just 10 years, 2001, since 2000, I mean, 92. So it took me 10 years to qualify my first, you know, classic. Then, okay, I have, uh, I have my own 15 years you know, fishing carrier plan to how I want to do good here in the States. Yeah. I was just held on the paper, you know, and uh, I said, I'm going to take 10 years to make my classic, Bassmaster's classic, you know, and I did that for 2001. Then 2004, a lot, I won the Bassmaster's classic that I did. Then 2005, I was, that was my last year, my plan was win the AOI, but I led to the halfway, I couldn't win. But uh, that one I published in the Bassa Magazine in Japan, you know, before I even first trip to this country. They, right. they still talk about, you know. Anyway, uh, all that, you know, you just started with the bottom. I not even have any sponsor. I couldn't have enough money. I only had a $2,000 altogether to start here. Really? Yeah. And uh, I had uh, no sponsor, no speak English. And... Uh, I started with be able to fish whatever I can for the non border you know, back then the pro draw, you know, draw right. tournament. Boat on boat draw. Yeah, yeah. so I, I had, I did that four years, you know, just like Koanga nowadays. Then, uh, then I qualified for the top 100, that was 96. I won the Lake Ozarks. That year I had my another Japanese partner, let me borrow his boat, you know, then I won the tournament, like, then I won the boat. Yeah, I qualify that year also qualified to the top 100. So you have to fish front of the boat for the pro. Right. Yeah, all that stuff. The ranger gave me a memo boat, you know, all that stuff. That was the beginning of things really. Yeah, that was 1996. Yeah, then my breakthrough year was the year 2000 when I won uh, Bassmaster uh, Texas Invitation. Then a week Tomito later. Band? No, no, on Raven. Yeah, tour of the band. I finished second. Next week, I, I won the invitation of some Raven. Right, right. And and months later, I won the APRW two in the Lake Martin. Oh, and that's I got right. two months. I won like a two hundred thousand. That was my then that year I made Bassmasters Classic the first time. That was already twenty years ago. <laughs> 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 anyway. Uh, yeah, I struggled a lot, but uh, I started with bottom. Then whatever the entry fee was cheaper back then, so I paid whatever I can afford, you know, and step up little by little. But I was young, you know, dumb young. I was like 21. You can do anything. Yeah, <laughs> when, when you're, you're young, you're you do 20. A lot. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, so I never thought I'm gonna give up, and uh, you know, I never thought about uh, doing anything. Besides bass fishing pro, you know. Right, right. So yeah, my dreams come true, and I won classic on the 2004. And uh, yeah, I mean, I still fish in the highest level, and I had a great career. Yeah, it, yeah, you have. It's it's crazy. I can think back to the my wife and I were watching. Actually, she wasn't my wife then, but we were watching because they used to televise the Bassmaster Classic with ESPN, and we were watching it at her place. Waded in, you weighed those fish in, and you won the Bashmaster Classic. We were just blown away. We were 
think we got married in 2004. And you won in 2004. Yep. Yeah. So, well, that's pretty much it. I think we answered all the questions. If we didn't get to all of them, um, sorry about that. But you've got we've got some pretty interesting stuff that Takahiro shared. And, uh, again, thank you guys for tuning into all this. We're going to get back to fishing. We've got a few hours left here in the day. We're going to try to catch some Lake Fork big ones here before uh, we have to put it back on the trailer and head home. Yeah, thanks for the whole question. Yeah. And I tell you today, the Lake Fork, it's not easy. No, it's not easy. I mean, you know, I want to talk about another thing. After the Bass Pro Tour we had, I fished like 10 times. It wasn't like that. Oh, we hit it in a perfect timing for the Bass Pro Tour. Everybody thinks it's giant all over the Lake Fork. They have a fish here, but uh, like today, you know, I mean, it's not that uh, every day that good. But still, it's a good lake, you know, so we're going to try to do our best. Right, right. Yeah, it's it's definitely, it's a tremendous fishery that gets a tremendous amount of fishing pressure. pressure, And uh, and that really takes a toll on it in the, in the way that those fish react. And so it's hard to catch them day in, day out consistently here, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I know this now. <laughs> <laughs> let's get back after it. All right, let's go. Oh, look, look that bass is over there, right there. They are looking that way. Got him. <laughs> oh, nice one. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's the biggest for the bear. That man. is the biggest. Don't let him get away. Oh, you know. Where's the camera? Where's the camera? I got it right here, man. <laughs> wow. Oh, come on. Yes. There you go. <laughs> Bassmaster Classic Champion had to yeah. show me up, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. Good job. Big fish for the day, James. Uh, God. That's why everybody comes to Lake Fork, right there. On what? Uh, this is shimmy stick? This is a Strike King shimmy Strike stick, King yeah. Strike King stick. Very cool. To be a you saw that fish, though, right? I did. He's just up there by that, kind yeah, of that those that, reeds yeah. right there. Dude, awesome. That's a pretty clean fish. That is a clean fish. That's a good looking fish. Yeah. Very cool, man. Dude, nice. Awesome. All right, James. <laughs> Thanks me. Thanks for taking me fishing today. Thanks for going with me, man. I had a great time answering a bunch of questions for your fans. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, on the YouTube. By the way, I have my own YouTube channel too. Oh yeah, what, what is it? I'll go. I'll go ahead and post it in the comments uh, or in the in the not the comments. I'll post it in the uh, description. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I've caught them here on a jig, in the creek channels. You know, six to ten. There's one. Big and. Dude, where's he? Oh golly. Yeah. I think he's come off already. He, he, he swam out the other side. Yeah, I saw it before, but I never saw the fish. Oh, it came off. Gosh! I never saw the fish, man. Look at that. Maybe that was a 10 pounder. Dude, that's rotten right there. Ugh! 10 pounder, dude. <laughs> Might have been a 10 pounder. Yeah, they fought. <laughs> this is they fought, man. Could it could have been. Could be 10 and a half pounder. Oh! Well, we just put the boat on the trailer. We ran around and tried to fish several areas, but the wind is just howling out there and it really limited where we could go and what we could do, but we had a good time. Oh yeah, thanks for taking me fishing, James. Yeah, you bet. I, you know, it's, I was thinking about that this morning and I think the last time you, that you and I went fishing together was like 2017 Thousand Islands. Oh yeah. Yeah, but, right? Yeah, but in Lake Fork, this is only second time. This is only the second time. Last time you came, we went fishing together one time. It was like in January. Something no, like that. It was, Wasn't it cold? Uh, I thought no, it was you cold. you did drop shot. Oh, Some really? Okay. Stuff. Okay. Maybe, yeah. We it's might. been a long time. Long, long time. I don't remember, <laughs> you know, when. 
But I, I've had a good time. And hey, you guys, make sure. Hey, thank you for sending in those questions. That was great. I uh, had enjoyed answering that, Taco Hero and I. And then um, I'll go ahead and post his Facebook and his YouTube channel in the description. So if you want to follow Taco Hero, we are both probably getting ready to go hit the road here pretty soon. I think everybody's ready to get back to work. I know we are. All right. So stay safe, guys. Thanks for tuning into the YouTube channel. And uh, until next time, good fishing.